Hi there YouTube, Yorkshire reseller here. Just um, a little update on some of my pickups this weekend. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. So I've got a little Brio wooden train set there. And yeah, I did pay a pound for that one. Um, I have put together and I have noticed one little thing, one of the little knobbly bits off one of the curb pieces I've snapped, but I'm sure that's easily replaceable. So yeah, that was that one. Um, in the bag, I managed to pick up another wooden train set. And it's more of a girl's one. They've got a nice little pink carriage there. I'll just show you that. And I paid £3 on that. And again, on that one, one of these little knobby pieces have snapped again. But yeah, it shouldn't be too much to find another piece to put in. Nice little crane with it as well. And these cranes I've seen going for £8 to £10 pound on their own. So yeah, not a bad little find for um, £3 there on that one. Uh, Lord of the Rings figure, paid 50p for him. I've got a few more of them. I'll do a couple of little bundles now with it. A job lot of a nice little bundle of uh, Lego Bionicles figures. I only paid 30p for this. I picked them all out of a, a bargain bucket in charity shop. Yeah, and yeah, I got more for 30p. It's not a bad little find. So that's that one. Moving on. Got a few books. A uh, bundle of Mr. Men books. I think I paid 25, 20p a book on these ones. And now I'm going to get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 books. I paid 20p each. So, yeah. I'll get put in for my bundles. That's that. Another job lot of Rainbow Magic books. I paid 25p on those. They'll all get bundled in. The other ones. And I do them in lots of seven and follow the so you got like sporty fairies on there so I'll get the full set of seven then I'll put them on and I'll put them on at 9.99 so that's not a bad little find two PS2 games hit and run usual I thought I'd try on that one there's no money in that one at all so that'll be bundle fodder so yeah 50p each on those two Haynes manuals and I paid a pound for the pair of them one, this one's in better nick than this one. This one's been well used by the looks of it, so I don't know if there's any value left in that. But yeah, that one's quite clean and tidy, so I might get some back off that one. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, nice big bundle of Duplo. And I've weighed it, and it is just short of two kilo, I think it was. Yeah, so that's that. A few little special, special bricks in there. Now, Two specialists, mainly just all the big standard normal size bricks, and I paid oh, yeah, a few, few, few little animals in there, and I paid two pound for the lot. It's not a bad little find. Uh, moving on, like I said in one of my other videos, I'm trying something a little bit different and trying to find other different things, see if I can do anything. And I got two of these. One is a Red Cross first aid proficiency badge. For that one and then I got two two swim badges that one is the gold one and I also got a silver award one and I paid five pound for the three yeah five pound for the three so yeah I think I'm get ten pound for the pair of them and probably ten pound for that one thereabouts we shall see um moving on last few things now I picked up two Two cassette decks, one's realistic, little cassette radio, uh, all, no damage on it at all, it's in quite good nick, I haven't tested that one yet, properly, see if it works, fingers crossed it should do, and then I also got this one, which I can't find anywhere on eBay, I can't find anything at all about it, so I don't know about this one, I've plugged it in. It's working, whether it plays a tape or not, I've yet to find out, but I'll soon try. But yeah, no damage on this one as well. And that one's been sort of tested. Uh, I've got that one, and that one, and also, these were one of my better finds of the weekend. A box of old vintage cassette tapes. And they're all still sealed. Not even open. And I've seen similar tapes, well, some go for £10 and I've seen randomly some go up as much as £20 a cassette. So if that's the case, 
there's not a bad bit of money there and I paid seven pounds for them three in a bundle so that was that and then now getting on to some of that a bit more real passion about is my photography I'll pull all this over uh, yep got a little 1.850 mil lens there Pentacon M42 screw fit and I paid we get this right two pound and I bought this on the belief that it wasn't working and I've got it home and I don't know if you can just see it through there the shutter blades are actually working now on the store they weren't working they were stuck so yeah that's just shot up from being a spare repair to actual working lens the only thing I've found on there you won't be able to see under this light is there is a little bit of fungus growth in there but it should still be a bit more than a spare repair um, next one is an Olympus trip and I paid £3.50 on that one and I should get anywhere between 12 to 20 pound possibly on that it's not a really really good one, it's a couple of scrapes, bumps, a few marks on the back so it's not in pristine if it was pristine I could shoot over the 20 pound mark on that but no, still a nice little bit of profit on it um, next one is a Pentax ME Super, the camera body is technically is worth nothing, what I normally do with camera bodies is just wait till I get a few of them, bundle them together and just do a job lot, spares or repairs. The main things I buy cameras for is the lenses, it's the lenses that have a bit more the value in. And that one on there is, I don't know if you be able to see it, is an SMC Pentax M, so a bit of a common M brand, uh, 3.5 135mm. And that I should get about 15 for that one. It looks nice and tidy, looks nice and clean. I haven't had a proper look under nice bright light yet. But yeah, that should be alright. And this one was the better find. Well, seeing that these two came together in a job lot. And I got both these together for £8. And this one, if I get cap off. Yep. Nice and clean, a few marks on, just might need to clean up. Is SMC Pentax A Zoom 70 to 210 mil, uh, and that one goes anywhere between 40 to 50 pound for that one. And this one is in really, really, really nice condition. I know this light you can't really see in this light, and I do apologize, but it's late at night doing this video. But yeah, that's a really, really nice one. So yeah, that was my finds for this weekend. Uh, hope you enjoy, and I'll be back in touch soon. That's all for now. Thanks a lot. Bye.